What if you give it everything you have and you come up short? What if you get weak along the way and you're throwing a towel on yourself, you surrender to your emotions? What then? Everybody tripping through something. Everybody, I don't care who you are, you're going through something. But your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. What you did back there ain't got nothing to do with what God got for you. What you did back there was learn the lessons to get you to where you are at this particular moment right here. Maybe being weary doesn't mean you're weak. We're in hell right now. And we can stay here, get the sh kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell, one inch at a time. It's okay to fall, because when you fall, you get back up. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. And every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through. If they decide to push through it, push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. Listen to me very closely. Y'all running from obstacles when in fact it's the obstacle that's going to take you to the next level. Like y'all running from pain. Y'all running from challenges. You telling me how difficult your life is. Do you understand it is the difficulty that's going to prepare you and take you to that next level? You ready to quit? You ready to give up? You ready to give in? You ready to tell me what's not working? Who doing this? What's wrong? If you're not ready to get up every day and start all over again like nothing happened yesterday. Phenomenally skill is cute, but it is a phenomenal will that says every time I get knocked down, I will get back up and I will succeed. I will not surrender. As you go through the challenges of life and you look at it and embrace whatever comes to you, don't run from it. Step toward it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. See, most people want it easy. See, easy come, easy go. But when you go at what you're going to deal with and you deal with the difficulties of it, when you handle those hard things close at hand, making those hard decisions right now that you don't want to make, but you know that in order for you to get where you want to go, this is one of the hoops that you have to flip through. This is what you do. You are built for this. You would just believe that your day coming, that the sacrifices you are making today, they gonna pay off. But if you do not believe, it ain't gonna happen. Keep fighting in the midst of the struggle. Keep fighting, keep thinking positive. You only lose when you quit. It'd be one thing if life was like NASCAR, when you only have one lap left, they wave the white flag to let you know, this is the last one, this is it. If you can make it around here, your race is done. But life doesn't wave a white flag. So then we wave our white flag, not even knowing that just around the next turn, just around the next sacrifice, just if you can make it through this season, just if you don't give up in this trial, see, the reason you can't stop is because you might be so close. Wouldn't it be a shame for you to quit when you're this close, wouldn't it be a shame for you to walk away when you've come this far? Wouldn't it be horrible for you to bail out when you're just this close to victory? You can't walk by what you see. You can't give up because it doesn't feel good. You can't let people talk you out of it. You can't let your emotions stop you from moving forward. Keep believing, keep moving, keep marching, keep crawling, keep inching. This might be the day, this might be the one. What you're going through right now is a discovery moment. It is a discovery moment. The stage you're at, the age you're at. The burdens you bear. These are 
discovery moments. Not moments where you discover how bad life is, but rather how strongly you have been created. In mating seasons, the males fight. The younger male lions fight for the right to breed with the lioness. It's God's way of not allowing weakness to reproduce. The fight is designed to kill the weak parts of the herd so that they do not reproduce their weakness. The strongest lion reproduces so that the next herd is born in strength. Baby, only the strong survive. You can break if you want to. You can turn around and give up if you please. But God said, I'm not going to put my fruit in somebody who quits. God says, I'm not going to pour my investment in somebody who walks away. But the last man left standing. God said, I'm going to pour that into you. I have learned that even in my own life, experience kills off the weaknesses. Your childishness begins to die. Your fear begins to leave. You look at things now that you would have been all upset about 10 years ago. And you say, oh, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Don't worry about it. Don't. It's not that serious. Because that foolish part of you died in the last fight. That silly part of you died on the last battlefield. And now you're coming to a place that God makes a way of escape, but not so you can run. He says, I make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. People who gossip, people who spend their lives curious about other people, do it at the expense of never discovering who you are. And the reason you're so interested in who somebody else is, is because you have not invested enough in discovering who you are. This is a moment of discovery for you to find out who you are and what you are made of. Don't let your life be that you give more to others than you do to yourself. It's not that our troubles are so different. Life is life falls on the just and the unjust. Our pains are quite similar. It's our solutions that are different. It's not what happens that determines the major part of your future. It's not what happens. What happens, happens to us all. The key is what you do about it. It's not what happens, it's what you do about it. You will start that process of change. Do something different the next 90 days than you did the last 90 days like picking up the books to read. Do something different like the new health relationship with your family. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter how small it is. If you'll start doing different things with the same circumstances, since we cannot change the circumstances, but we can change ourselves. We can change what we do. A few little simple principles here. Once you understand these, it starts to explain so much taking responsibility instead of putting it off on someone else. Those, that transition sometimes is a challenging mission. You don't have to change what's outside. All you've got to change is what's inside. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Most people underestimate what time can do when backed up with massive activity. Right as I'm speaking to you, I'm looking out at the ocean right now and there's a massive rock formation and you can see the rivets and the rocks. And what caused those rivets and the rocks was compound pounding of the ocean hitting that rock over and over and over again. And over time, that ocean breaks the rock down over time where you can see the breakdown in a rock that water does hitting it.
Think about that over time. Not one time when the water hits it, not two times, not five times. When you add up years and years and years of that water hitting the rock, it breaks it down. And that's like getting through to your dream. You have to be like that water hitting the rock I'm staring at right now, that over time, that compound pounding breaks down the barriers, breaks down the obstacles, breaks down anything in your way of getting to your dream. And here's the crazy thing about most people. They will give up on their dream before the compounding has been allowed to kick in. So they'll work at it and they'll work at it and they'll work at it and they don't see the breakthrough. But what they don't understand is that rock was getting ready to break if you just keep pounding against it. But because most people don't see the evidence, see, if you watch that water hit that rock over one day, you're gonna see no difference. Maybe even five years. But you have the compound pounding of every wave hitting that rock over and over again. There's an inevitability to the breakdown of the rock. That's true of your goals and dreams as well. There's an inevitability to success. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, when we adopt one more, when we adopt compound pounding. Do you know the kind of confidence you begin to have when you just accept in your life that I am going to be relentless, I'm always gonna do extra, and you accept the fact that all things break down over time. All the barriers will go away, all the obstacles will go away, everything in your way will go away if you keep after it over an extended period of time. Most people overestimate what they can do in a year. They do, they set up goals for a year and they overestimate where they're gonna to get to. And they dramatically underestimate what they can do in a decade. And the reason for that is most people don't understand the power of compound pounding. So I want you to accept today that you're gonna be relentless, that you're gonna keep coming, that you're like a dripping faucet. Other people are gonna get slowed down. Other people are gonna take a break. Other people are gonna flinch. Other people are gonna cool it. Other people are gonna believe they've made it. Or maybe some people are gonna believe they can't make it. But you're gonna be relentless. You're gonna be re repetitious. You may not be the fastest. You may not be the smartest. You may not be the strongest. You may not be the most beautiful. You may not have the most articulate thoughts and ideas in the world. But what you got is compound pounding. What you got is one more. And when they get weak, you just keep company. When they flinch, you blow their doors off. That's how you win in life, is you keep getting after it and keep getting it after it until the job gets done. You show me somebody who can succeed, so a lot of people are gonna be excited for a day. They can be excited for a month. Some people can be excited for a year or two or three years. But the winners, they stay excited as long as it takes to get the job done. They keep after it until the job gets done. They never stop, they're always after it. And that's where their strength comes from. That's where their confidence comes from is knowing their capacity to keep coming at you and that all your competition's gonna get weak, they're gonna get tired, they're gonna surrender, they're gonna give in, they're gonna think they made it, they're gonna take a break, they're gonna cool it, and you just keep coming. It's just nature, just like the nature of the ocean against that rock, it's just nature that you run down your dream, that you knock down your dream. I want you to buy into the fact of an inevitability of you winning, that it's inevitable that it might not be a year or two years or three years, but you're gonna stay excited and you're gonna keep doing one more until the job gets done. See, I accepted a long time ago, I wasn't the smartest, the best looking, the fast enough, with the best background, the most connections. I didn't have any of those things. What I could control was my work ethic. If you think that I have a little bit of success in my life, I can tell you what I attribute it to. Yes, self-confidence, yes, mindset, visualization, goals. When you get to winning, for me, it's come down to maxing out. And what maxing out means is you do one more at least than you think you're capable of. So when you're done, whatever you're doing, whether it's at the gym or phone calls or meetings or in sports, one more shot, one more throw, one more swing of the golf club or the baseball bat, the separator is for the winners, they do one more. And so I want your mantra going forward to be one more. Today's message is very simple. You can win. You should win and you will win. I want you to feel this. You will win if you just keep coming. You keep getting after it. You keep doing one more. You can control this. You can't control all the exterior things in your life, people's attitudes, how they treat you, who hates on you, who lets you down. But you can control this. You can always go 46 instead of 45. You can always go 11 instead of 10. You can always make the next phone call. Always do one more meeting. Always do one more. Always, always, always. And I promise you, you will knock down that rock that's in between you and your dream. 
and make them come true. You can quit if you please, but you got what it takes.